Okay, so Ronald sent in a, a counting problem. This is called a counting problem from his math textbook. So I, I, made, I wrote a similar problem here. So let's take a look here. It says a certain lock has a combination that is three symbols long. The first symbol must be a letter of the alphabet. The second symbol must be a number from zero to nine. And the last symbol must also be a letter. How many possible combinations are there for the lock? Okay, so how you would start with a problem like this, we're just trying to count. That's why I called it a counting problem. We're trying to count the total number of combina possible combinations. But what we have here is we have some um, different symbols happening. I actually have three different symbols. Okay, now I want you to imagine here um, that I have a choice. Every time I pick a symbol, I have a choice. Let's start with our first symbol. We see here that our first symbol must be a letter of the alphabet. So I have how many possibilities for just this first choice? Well, how many letters are there in the alphabet? You know, we have 26 letters in our alphabet. And so I would have 26 here. Okay. Um, now, the next one, the second symbol must be a number from zero to nine. Okay, so this guy, I don't have as many choices if I'm just picking a number from zero to nine. Now, careful, a lot of students get this wrong by writing the number nine here. Um, that would not include all the numbers from zero to nine, because if you count zero, you actually have 10 digits. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, gives me a total of 10 possible choices for this one. Okay, now the last symbol must also be a letter, it says, and it does not say anything about not being able to repeat or anything like that. So I'm going to assume I can use any letter, even the same as the first one. So again, I'm going to have 26 options. Now, what do we do with these numbers? A lot of students mistakenly add them, but think about it. You have these 26 choices, and for each of these 26 choices, you could have chosen 10 other options. It's like these 26 possibilities have 10 times as many uh, choices once you consider the numbers. And then you're going to multiply that with each um, new event. You multiply um, the number of ways you could do each one of these. And so this problem here, um, I probably should have brought a calculator. I'm having regret issues, but I need to do 26 times 10 times 26. I think I'll do my 26 times 26 first because that's the nastier math. I'm going to get it out of the way. I hope you guys know that you can multiply in any order you want. And if you had this problem in your math classes, you wouldn't get this on the GED. It's a little harder than the GED, but you would definitely um, have a calculator. <laughs> so when I did 26 by 26, I got 676 and multiplying that by 10, I get 676 with a zero on its butt. And I have 6,760 different possible combinations for this lock. I should really give a unit to my problem. Possible combos when I'm doing a word problem. Okay, great. So, um, I hope this video is understandable. As always, drop any questions you have in the comments. And um, if you have a math question you want answered, drop it on my Facebook page, Light and Salt Learning, or on uh, my YouTube channel, and I will try to answer it.